Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to another Vlogmas video. It is day number 20. Let's see what we've got on that calendar. Here we go, this one here. Oh my word, Jump Owen Tackless. Is it gonna focus? It's not gonna focus for me. There it is. Jump Owen Tackless. This could be very entertaining. I jumped him bareback last year and I hit the deck. So, uh, fingers crossed this year goes slightly more successfully. Can't be doing it dressed like this. Horse winning in the background. Let's get changed. Looking a little bit more festive right now. Got rosy cheeks, I've literally just wolfed down some lunch, which I'm probably gonna regret now that I'm gonna be riding tackless. Owen looks scared of me already. Hello reindeer. He literally looks terrified of me. This doesn't bode well because I'm setting this up in a school um, so that you've got a couple of angles and he's scared of it and I'm going to have to ride past it whilst I'm tackless. What I am going to do because I'm an absolute cheater is I'm going to warm him up. My ears are jangling. Warm him up um, in Rosie's jazzed up head collar just uh, in case all goes wrong and then hopefully if he's behaving himself I'm gonna take it off and uh, attempt to jump some jumps we've got a few set up in the school I'm gonna move them around a little bit because he has already jumped through that grid I don't want it to all be the same so I might just pop a couple more in and uh, fingers crossed it goes well we will see you when I am tacking up but not really tacking up the little pony I've actually decided to leave the grid but I've added an extra up right here. I might regret these barrels in a few moments, <laughs> but got a couple of cross poles, grid and barrels. This could all change when um, I'm hanging on, just trotting around, regretting my choices. <laughs> this is what I'm treating myself to, to warm up in. I've got Rosie's hacking head collar and an extra bit of tinsel. Mum's ready to do some filming. Oh my God, you're gonna frighten the life out of him with the head collar. Just the head collar, let alone uh, everything else. Probably the, it'll be the ears, the antlers. Yeah. Well, I might, I might have to uh, take the antlers off. We shall see. Moment of truth. How brave is my little Owen? Oh, Princess Owen. You are called Princess for a reason, aren't you? First thoughts. Oh, he's been brave today. He's been super brave. This could go better than I thought it would. Hey, Buzz Buzz. Let's see what Owen thinks having the head collar on. I've got to remember how I put this on, Rosie. So him and Buzz live out together, but we've been bringing them in a bit now because um, the weather's so horrible. So they sort of, they came in this morning. I think we're gonna leave them in for the night, ride Owen in the morning tomorrow, don't run away. And then pop them back out for the day and then the night sort of alternate every other day slash night being in and out. He just tried to eat the tinsel, we thought it was a bit. Oh, I can't actually remember how I had this on, Rosie. There we go. I might want to tighten it up a little bit. It's all right. I mean, it's most likely gonna be coming off anyway, unless Owen's naughty and I decide I don't want to jump him without one on. Boy, they might hit your ears a little bit. Oh, I mean, you could do with a groom, really. You could do with a groom and a brush and a bath. Yes, yes. Owen's not the biggest fan of baths. That was a really, really wet kiss. Um, he likes hot water. He pretends he's scared of the hose pipe, but actually, when you're hosing him, he's fine. It's just the lead up to it, isn't it, Owen? I got a bit of tinsel. Hey, Buzz! This could be you in a couple of years' time. He's like, oh God, please no. Over the ears. Hey, Pika. Pika's come up to keep Buzz company whilst Owen's being ridden. Don't know if you can see, you ready? Hi, oh, Pika Pika! <sighs> you got me ridden. Just gonna do his feet and then it's time to get on. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Right, 
I'm gonna show the barrels, the camera, and because I've moved the block. We'll start with that. The jumps look a lot bigger now that I'm on board rather than just walking around on the floor. They didn't look that big when I put them up, so we might be doing some more I don't think Santa has very much control. Now that we've had a walk, a very short trot and a canter, it's time to pop over a few jumps and see how we get on. <laughs> Just sit down, don't go up yet. Well, it made sense that Santa splats two years in the row during a bareback challenge with my reindeer steed. Well done, Owen. <laughs> Bless him. He jumped that jump a little bit bigger than I was expecting and I landed right on his bum. So he was like, get off my bum. But hey ho, it's all part of the fun of Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> so my reindeer didn't fancy delivering Christmas presents this year and Santa's got a little bit sandy. Bless Owen, can't blame him. He had a bad jockey who landed on his bum. I'm sorry. He jumps really big sometimes and that was one time where I wish I had a saddle on him. Um, but yeah, we're, we're both fine. 
I would jump again, but I think uh, that's telling me I probably ought not to. And I'm sure my mum behind the camera is probably thinking the same. Am I right? Yeah, I think. Give that one a miss now. <laughs> Give that one a miss. We did, um, we kept the head collar on purely because I actually couldn't steer him very well, with, even with the head collar on. So I'm not sure how uh, just having the lead rope around the neck would have gone, but it's technically tackless because a head collar doesn't count as tack. But yeah, I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed watching Santa Splat 2.0. It was gonna happen at some point this Christmas and hopefully it's out of the way now, even though there's only a few challenges left anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.